welcome back to the Oracle TV studio. And I am thrilled to welcome our next guest from Whitespace, and that is Andrew Weber, Chief Partnership Officer. Andrew, thank you so much for being here with us. Good to I, meet you both. You yes, too. You I want to. I want to be a partnership officer. I know that's a great name. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great thing. Work for a small company. You can choose whatever name you oh, like. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like it. I, well, tell us a little bit about White Space and your products. Yeah, of course. So I'll start with White Space's mission. So we exist to support defence and national security, both within the UK and wider NATO member states, and build rapidly against their unmet needs particularly with AI. Okay. That's good, tight, succinct. I like it. That was great. <laughs> that was great. So what about the products? Yes, yeah, so Whitespace is a 10-year-old company. We're headquartered in Belfast in Northern Ireland. We've been working in defense since about 2019 into the UK Ministry of Defense. And we were one of the first companies to use AI in anger, if you will, within the UK Ministry. So we don't build products as such, we actually build against unmet needs. So we're building, I know it sounds a bit trite, but we're building solutions against unmet needs within defense and national security. So we build fast, we deploy anywhere where the AI is needed, and I'm no doubt we'll talk about that a little bit later. And we scale those solutions as quickly as we can across both the commands within defense and then into the wider NATO member states. So what is that? What is that? Are you allowed to tell us what that looks like? Yeah, some stuff we can't get into for obvious Are you reasons. Sure? Uh, you I, I, I mean, nobody. <laughs> it's just no, there's no one here. Circle of trust. Those um, cameras are nothing. But I will talk about a solution which we've worked very closely with Oracle around how can we capture lessons as we are learning them in an operation, not when we come back from our operation, which can be months later, and our memory is a bit fuzzy. So could we use AI to capture those lessons at the very point they're being learnt, go through a series of questions to take those lessons identified and turn them into lessons that can be learnt and exploited? And we're now just starting to engage more widely with the great support of the Oracle team into Spain, Australia, and NATO headquarters with the same solution. So you are you're a member of the Oracle Defense ecosystem. Yes. And so, you know, when you talk about like how how what are these you know me measures of success that you have? Yeah. Yeah. Well, measures of success is can we support the safety and security? of the UK and yeah. NATO member states. That's what that's why we exist. That's our mission. Number it's protection. one. Protection. It's protection. Yes. Absolutely. In the in the small way that we can, in our own small way. Now the Oracle developer uh, sorry, the Oracle Defense Ecosystem launched in Austin, Texas. Oh, I was there. Oh you were there. Well you <laughs> yeah. did better than I because I didn't make it. So I, I did a video instead. But we're one of the 10 initial companies that were invited into the ecosystem. Now, bear in mind, we hadn't even engaged with Oracle until January of this year. Oh, wow. We'd worked with the other hyperscalers, but never worked with Oracle. Our mistake, as it turns out, because <laughs> from for our, our perspective, they are the best hyperscaler because of their laser focus in supporting the defense and the safety of the countries that we live in within NATO. Uh, and they're very proud of that, and so are we. So from a mission perspective, we're really well aligned. Then we joined the defense ecosystem, and it just supercharged from there. We are also very proud to be working with you. And I'm gonna take some of what you just said and put it in, a, we need to put it in a quote, because that was really yeah, great. No, yeah, no, with pleasure. That yeah. was fantastic. And all that's being processed by, on OCI. Absolutely, absolutely. And the great thing with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is that we can deploy a solution on an Ultra device, on a red, on an air gap sovereign cloud, and if required on just a, a commercial public cloud, but we build once and deploy across them all. And that's, for a small company, that's really critically important. Absolutely, so what's next? This is the most exciting part, not that what I've just described isn't exciting, <laughs> but the next chapter in the White Space and Oracle partnership involves another company called Defence Holdings. They were only recently uh, uh, came out on the London Stock Exchange, and what we're doing, and I think in the US it's quite a familiar model, but in the UK not so much, it's bringing private sector capital, which is what Defence Holdings are bringing, with White Space's domain expertise and capabilities to rapidly 
build solutions for defence and national security and bringing them together to allow us to build solutions for defence ministries, whether they have budget at that time or not, because we're taking advantage of private sector capital. And I realise in the US that's probably a fairly well-known model with something like Crater, but in the UK that's actually quite unusual. And it's all around how we as Whitespace and Defence Holdings can support the strategic defence review from the UK government wow. and work at speed on a war footing, really a wartime footing, that sort of speed. And that's the speed we need to be operating at. Well, thank you so much. You know, I didn't know much about Whitespace before we got into this conversation and I, I looked into it a bit more before we're getting here, it's something that I want to come back to. I mean, because it's. I'd we, love to come I know, back. and I yeah. want you to share more here at this desk. Fantastic. That, thank that you. You couldn't share today. Uh, <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us.